By the end of this tutorial, you will have learned how to create three distinct pattern brushes in various sizes. This will equip you to make more of your own unique brushes, which can be used to decorate digital planner pages as well as clip art and stickers. There really is no limit to their use in digital art and print. This is the canvas size and settings I am working with. You may need to pause the screen whilst you set up your canvas. Let's get to it. The first step we need to complete in order to make our brushes is to make our free brush stamps. Let's make our first stamp. First we'll start by going to the colour circle. We'll need to make sure that we pick the pure black colour by using the disc option and double tapping inside the black area. Then we'll drag this onto the canvas. This will fill our layer in black. Now tap the layers icon to open up the layers panel and duplicate the black layer twice so that we have three black layers. Add a new layer by tapping the plus icon. Now we want to change the colour again but this time we'll change the colour to pure white. This time we'll double tap inside the white area. Drag the white colour onto the canvas. Next, tap the transform tool. You want to have uniform selected. In the snapping settings, you want magnetics and snapping on with distance and velocity set to the max. Now tap rotate 45 degrees and using the snapping guidelines, drag in the left and right edges. then the top and bottom edges. Then tap the transform tool to release it. Tap the layers icon and merge the top two layers. Tap the layer and rename it to diamond. Hide this layer by tapping the visibility checkbox. Now, select the second layer and add a new layer. Fill this layer with white. Next, tap the transform tool and scale the layer down to an exact quarter of the canvas. Tap the transform tool to release it. Now tap the layers icon and duplicate this square. Tap the transform tool and drag it up to the opposite corner of your first square. Open the layers panel and merge the two squares and black layer together. Tap this layer and rename it to check. Now hide this layer. Now for our final stamp, tap the last black layer at the bottom and add a new layer. Fill this layer with white. Tap the transform tool and drag it to the left until we have a thick line. Tap the transform tool to release it. Tap the transform tool again and using the snapping guides, center the line. Tap the transform tool to release it. Now go to the layers panel and duplicate this layer. Go back to the transform tool and tap rotate 45 degrees twice. Tap the transform tool again to release it and go back to the layers panel. Merge the final three layers together, then tap and rename to grid. Tap the layer and select copy. Now we're all set to make our mini pattern brush set. 
Now we need to tap the brush icon. This will open up the brush library. On the left is the brush categories. Drag this down to reveal the plus icon at the top. Tap it to create a new brush category. Rename it to pattern brushes or any name you want. Now tap the plus icon on the top right of the box. This will open up the brush settings for our new brush. Now we're going to go into the attributes and tweak a few settings for our new grid brush. Inside the stroke path settings, set spacing to 15 and jitter to none. Select grain. At the side of grain source, tap edit, tap import, select paste and tap done. We need to select Texturized and adjust the scale to suit the desired grid size you want. You can use a drawing pad to test it. Next we'll tap Apple Pencil and change Pressure Opacity to None. Now go to Properties. Set maximum brush size to max and minimum size to 100. If you want the pattern to stay straight, you need to set the orient to screen option off. Otherwise you'll want to leave it on. Here is an example of the difference between the two settings. Orient to screen means that any new brush stroke will paint in the direction of the layer's orientation and will show an overlap. With orient to screen off, the pattern will paint the same no matter which way the layer is facing. Now tap done. Add a new layer. Tap and hold the visibility checkbox to isolate the new layer to be the only layer showing. Next, pick a fun colour and paint. You can make numerous sizes just by duplicating the brush and adjusting the scale inside the grain settings. Make sure to rename your brushes. Now let's make our next pattern brush. Open the layers panel, select another stamp layer, tap it and select copy. Tap the brush icon. Inside the pattern brush folder, duplicate one of the brushes, tap it, open the grain panel, Go to Grain Source, tap Edit, Import, Paste and Done. Repeat this process with the third stamp, not forgetting that you can adjust the scales of the brushes. Although these pattern brushes are seamless and will paint seamlessly on any size canvas, they won't, however, create a seamless pattern tile. No matter your canvas size, the edges just won't match. If you need a seamless tile that will repeat past the edges of your canvas, you can watch one of my other seamless pattern tutorials, which I'll pop here. These tutorials will equip you with the tools to make seamless pattern tile repeats. I hope you have fun making your own pattern brushes and that you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.